So what's going on YouTube? Um, I know I wanted to do a series of videos leading to Halloween. I haven't had a chance to do that because uh, my mom's been very sick and we've been, me and my brother and sister have been in the hospital every day. Um, but today I thought it would be apropos to show off my Crow Bust by Bobby Cossey um, in honor of the actor who played Fun Boy who just recently passed away. And not to mention that the movie that came out in 1994 um, takes place on Devil's Night, October 30th, and that's today. Um, I picked this up. This is sculpted by Bobby Cossey. I picked this up in 2009. Um, he made this bust for a collector who owned a screen-used suit. Um, I'm not sure if it was a hero suit. Uh, I know there's a local guy here that owns one of the production suits as well um, here in Long Island. The bust was made um, for a life-size figure that Kelly de Cambrai of KMD Theatrics um, they built a body for. And it was originally a silicone bust. Uh, I contacted Bobby not too long after that to see if he, they, they could do one, a one-off bust for me, which he said he could. Um, I have no idea whose commission this was, uh, but I chose not to go with silicone. I went uh, with a resin copy. <clears throat> there aren't very many crow, life-size crow busts out there. Um, the only other Eric Dravens I know of uh, are by Howard S. Studios that he did for NECA. And there's a French sculptor, I think it's a French sculptor, who does a silicone version too. Um, so those, those are the only ones I know of. The bus comes with the jacket um, portion of the shirt. A nice paint job. I know it's the the face paint on Eric Draven isn't terribly complex, um, but Bobby did a really good job with it. <clears throat> the eyes, acrylic eyes. I added the bullet that the scene that's cut from the movie. Um, where Eric Draven ties the bullet to his hair. Um, the placement is incorrect. He actually ties it to the back of his head. I put it in the front only um, to make it more obvious for fans, visitors to see. The profile shot. <clears throat> Shelly Webster's engagement ring. Never mind the um, <laughs> the plaque. That's the plaque for my old um, crow bust. Not. It's hard to see, but there are. Um, eyebrows and eyelashes on this bust. This is about the sixth or seventh piece um, that Bobby's done for me. He's a little hard to get a hold of now. I think he was in, located in Michigan and he moved to Florida. Um, I actually haven't spoken to Bobby in years. Um, so I hope everything is cool with him and he's doing his thing. So there you have it. Eric Draven as a crow. Brandon Lee from the 1994 movie The Crow. Life-size resin bust. Mixed media elements added. Um, Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys have a happy and safe Halloween 2016. And as soon as things are back to normal with 
my mom. I'll get back to making videos on a weekly basis. So until then, uh, you guys enjoy. All right, I'll just close out the video uh, with some close-ups. Just so you know, I didn't, um, I didn't discuss it with some of these silicone and resin pieces that have real hair. This one, the hair, there's less maintenance on it because we kind of hairsprayed the shit out of it. Um, so the hair is kind of locked into place. I maybe spray it once a year, if that. So this one is one of the easier ones. This one and my Joker, Heath Ledger Joker, are pretty easy, fairly easy to uh, maintain. <clears throat> so here he is side by side with um, David from the Lost Boys and Angus Grimm, the tall man from Phantasm. All three by Bobby Cossey, David and Eric Draven by, painted by Bobby, um, The Phantasm, which I'll feature in another video, somewhere down the line, was finished by John Alred. But I digress. Talk to you guys soon. Happy Halloween.